Sue de Blasio from Through Sue's Eyes. Well, today I had a rant on my Facebook page. I just opened Coping with Chronic Illness. So I might as well rant about something else since I seem to be in one of those moods. Um, and it's about doctors and listening to you and believing what you're saying and not pushing it off as, well, she has anxiety or blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have some very good doctors, I have to say that. But um, my primary care retired. And so now I have to see the PA in between until the new doctor comes. And I find that um, this happens a lot when I go to have to see different people outside of my main doctor because they're not available at the time. Um, they listen to me, but they're like, they talk over me. They, uh, they, they draw their own conclusions. Like I have a hard time taking antibiotics. So um, the PA had uh, prescribed doxycycline for me. And when I took it, I had a reaction. So now when I went back, uh, she has decided that um, I can't take any antibiotics, which is not true. So, you know, they draw their own conclusions or when they listen to you, they look at you like, you know, you're a little bit crazy or, you know. And when I tell her I have uh, vasculitis, vasculitis and it's mostly in my sinuses, but I think it might be in my stomach, she just goes, uh-huh. Like, she doesn't ask any questions about it. Like, do you think this is what's bothering you? Because I've been having pounding in my ear, like in time with my heartbeat and my uh, head pounds. And it's when I'm lying down. And I've always had ringing in my ear, but not pounding. So she just said, uh, she, she looked at my ear. She goes, your ear looks fine. Well, I figured that. I think it's a vasculitis or some kind of infection inside, right? She looks at my throat, your throat's not sore. So take Tylenol, use a heating pad and um, Mucilex D. And I wasn't thinking about the Mucilex until I called the pharmacy and they said it has Sudafed in it. Well, I can't take Sudafed because of my heart because it makes it go crazy. And I think a lot of people have that problem. So, you know, this is just one instance of, oh, I had a doctor once that yelled at me um, because, I, this was like 30 years ago, yelled at me because apparently I had a UTI and didn't realize it. I had no symptoms. And he started yelling at me, you know, what's wrong with you? You don't, you know, you have a UTI so bad it's almost to the point of your kidneys. He goes, you didn't feel anything? You didn't feel burning? You didn't feel this or that? I said, no. And he said, I don't believe you. Nice. But I didn't. Maybe it's just me. So these are things I know I'm getting a little agitated, but I do get agitated by it. Or I called the doctor uh, the other day, and they said, okay, we'll tell the nurse what, you know, what your symptoms are. This is before I went in to see uh, the PA. What your symptoms are, and, and uh, you know, we'll call you back. The nurse will call you back, blah, blah, blah. Nobody ever called me back. You know, and it's like, really? Really? Nobody can call you back? I know. It, the medical world is so short-staffed. I know they're going crazy. And I'm not trying to knock PAs or RNs or anybody else. I'm just saying, maybe everybody's so busy, they can't listen to you. Or maybe when you go in on a repeated basis because you do have these symptoms, they just become immune to it. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. And I get very upset by it. And then, I, then I'll speak out, and then, then they really, you know, 
are not thrilled with me. So, <laughs> but if I don't speak out, you know, they're just going to assume. And that's what happens. Assumptions. And then you don't find out what's really wrong with you. So anyway, that's my read for today. If you want to join in, please do. And, uh, or your experiences. And uh, I hope to see you soon.